All right, so that time of year again, uh, taking the solar fence charger out to plug it into the, the first set of paddocks. Uh, this is a mobile setup. It does get used a couple different places. It moves back and forth throughout the summer. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea of part of the way, part of the reason it's designed the way that it is. Uh, this is a homemade unit. All the parts are, are sourced, and uh, some of them are just from you know local hardware shop. I'm going to go over that in a second. Um, it is all based around a Cyclops uh Output energy 5.0 joule AC fence charger. Uh, really like the Cyclops brand. I've had really good experience with them. You know, over the years, uh, have have other Cyclops fence chargers, and they all work real well. Um, so this is I mentioned this is all a homemade unit. Uh, Cyclops does offer some solar pre-built solar units. Uh, they're pretty pricey to be honest. And I put this whole thing together, including the fence charger and the battery and everything. Uh, for quite a bit cheaper than you can buy a uh, a charger from from Cy a pre-made solar charger from Cyclops. So just going over it real quick. This is a 50 watt solar panel, which is massive overkill. Uh, but keep in mind, solar panels do degrade over time. So you know, in 25 years, this thing's going to only generate about 25 watts, and that's only peak, too. Um, and you know, we got some trees here and stuff in the summer. It won't be in full sun all the time. So. I'm kind of always the opinion that you know bigger solar panel is better. I want to say when I bought this, it was it was seventy five eighty dollars. The brand name is Sunapex. You see it there, and it does come with that charge controller there. It's got different settings for different types of batteries. I'm running an AGM battery, and it also gives you a charge readout. I have never seen that below seventy five percent. Even on a cloudy day like today, it is generating and, and charging that battery a little bit. Uh, and then it's just bolted at the top of this toolbox. I'll show you the inside of the toolbox a little bit more here in a second. Uh, that mounting hardware came with that solar panel. Uh, I went with a toolbox that had a pretty sturdy top. Uh, wanted to find one that had, you know, the reinforcements on the top because, you know, the wind does catch it and stuff like that. And you don't want it just ripping off the top of the, of the, uh, of the box here. What I did when I was doing this is I got all the components together. I got the solar panel that I wanted, I got the charger I wanted, and I got the battery that I wanted. And then I went to Menards and made sure I found one that fit. Made sure it was wide enough to fit the solar panel, made sure it had enough room for the battery and had some plan for how to keep the battery and the charger from just running around. Because again, we do move this throughout the summer. Um, so yeah, the, uh, this, I forgot I disconnected this for over the winter there. Uh, this is a little ATV AGM battery. Um, I'm not going to pull it out of there. Uh, when you're buying a battery for if you're making your own solar charger, uh, you know, just like the solar panel, the battery will degrade over time and not work as well over time. So you want to go with a bigger battery over a smaller one. Um, when you're buying it, uh, you know, uh, you want a, a brand or type of battery that is uh, dischargeable. Uh, so a regular car battery, lead, uh, lead acid battery, they're meant to design, provide a lot of cold cranking amps to get that starter running. They're not really designed to be charged and recharged and discharged and recharged over and over. Um, that's not good for them. So an AGM battery is one type of battery that is more uh, prone or is more uh, uh, compatible with being charged and discharged. The, uh, there's other options too. Uh, lithium ion phosphorus and stuff like that uh, collectively they're kind of known as deep cycle batteries if you've ever heard that term that's what that means um, and one of the things you will see is if you're buying this like this is an ATV battery you know it, it's only posted stat on there is cold cranking amps a lot of them if you google uh, google the battery and stuff like that you can find an amp hour rating for them and that's what you actually want to look at more amp hours is better or watt hours um, either one I think that this one was like 35 amp hours, something like that. But you can also see, you know, if we did want to get a larger battery and put it in here, we do have some space. We could turn this sideways. The piece of wood there is just to keep it from, again, we move this around so it doesn't uh, bounce around in there. It just kind of stays stable. Uh, and I even went so fancy as to put a little cutoff switch here to run the charger. There it goes. You hear it ticking. Um, that's super handy. I'm really glad I did that. And that, you know, that's a pretty simple install. And then over here, I uh, just got a couple of cables running straight off the charger out to here. Um, 
So yeah, if you're looking to build your own solar charger, it's really not difficult if you have any any technical inclination whatsoever. It's really a pretty easy thing to build. You know, if I can do it and I'm, you know, I'm not a genius by any means. If I can do it, you can do it too. And it saves quite a bit of money and quite honestly ended up with a lot better unit for my use case. It's a lot more portable. Uh, all the component, you know, a lot of the components are just commercially available. I can get them at local hardware shops if the battery goes out or if, uh, I don't know, a cable breaks or something like that. I can uh, I can repair it all myself, which is real nice. Um, you know, if the charger goes out, I can just replace it with another charger, uh, even just a temporary one, until I get a, a new good name brand one. I will mention with these Cyclops chargers, you can get them a lot cheaper on eBay than what you can from a local dealer. You know, consider whether or not you want to, uh, uh, you know, short sell your local dealer like that. You may need them in the future. Uh, I did get this one off eBay, uh, full disclosure. Uh, batteries just from Walmart. Uh, this again is just this uh, toolbox just from Menards and I, again, I bought everything else. I got it all together and then took it to Menards and was standing there in the aisle looking at toolboxes making sure okay this one's wide enough. It has the reinforced top. It's got a divider. I can put the battery over there. This fits over here. Blah blah blah. And then you just kind of figure it out from there. So um, do just have two leads here that just get uh, just get spliced in to the fence and then to a, a ground wire here that leads off to, you know, you can see one ground rod there uh, and then uses the barbed wire fence and there's another ground rod oh, about 100 feet that way and that's kind of the same set setup I use at both of the remote locations so um, yeah that's about all.